Renee Marie Stroke of Luck, the Renee Marie Stroke of Luck Internet TV show. Um, I want to do another spotlight segment because I thought this was as important as um, Luke Perry's passing and Whoopi Goldberg's platform on insurance. Um, this is a real milestone for me. Tomorrow, uh, April 8th, um, is, was, will be my 30th anniversary for my stroke and most people tell me not to hang on to the stroke that they say don't make it yours don't hang on to it but I think differently I think I think you're really supposed to learn from all your experiences in life and really treasure and and thank everybody for it so I really wanted to do a spotlight segment to give thanks to God first for allowing me the second chance at life because I remember when I suffered my stroke, um, that I couldn't walk, I couldn't talk. I just, I re, I vividly remember being in my bed and, and with my family standing around me and not being able to share with them how it felt to be there. And I, I just knew I was going to be okay, but I couldn't, I, I had it suffered a stroke, a major stroke. I couldn't, I couldn't even move. I couldn't, I couldn't tell them. And I saw, saw them looking at me and, um, it was very, very trying to try to share with your loved ones, um, that you're going to be okay, but they're just frightened because back 30 years ago, strokes were not as prevalent as they are today. Thank you to everyone um, who brings it forth, um, you know, the American Stroke Association, the National Stroke Association, all the small stroke associations um, around the world and aphasia as well. And once again, I suffered from aphasia. That's why it's so important me, for me to bring, keep strokes and aphasia together because most people that suffered from strokes have aphasia in one form or another and some, um, it goes back to uh, their normal speaking and sometimes people can't speak um, so it really is very very challenging and very trying and and so I really wanted to take this opportunity to thank all of you for the guidance to being angels in my life and and loving me through it loving someone through a situation is really important you you really just remember those words. I think that's going to be one of my taglines is to love people through it. Um, I, I te tell that to my daughter as well with my grandson to love him through it when he's gone and having a tantrum or, or something. You have to love them through it. You have to be the parent, but you have to love them through it. So it, it really is important. The same thing with someone who suffers a stroke. That's why we are so adamant about insurance and government not being um, play a part of recovery because um, they need to play a part but the important thing is to be there for the family and, and the family needs as much support as the um, as the patient you know because they're experiencing something that they don't know um, what they're what they're experiencing and like I was saying that you know strokes 30 years ago were not as prevalent as they are today now at least we know the signs we know that fast you know the the face um, the arms, if they, if one droops down, the um, smile, the speech, um, the speech, if you're lisping or the smile that one of your sides doesn't go, you know, up, um, you know, it's, you can't smile evenly and I can't now because I suffered a stroke and really time is of the essence and we keep saying that and we're going to keep saying it until, um, you know, we, 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 you remember that this was our thing. Um, and really when you call 911, cause the time is of the essence, you need to let the, the operator know that it could be a stroke because they will go into stroke mode. So this is, this is a really time in my life where, um, I think it's the first time in my life where I'm taking a step back and I'm like, Oh my God, like I'm so honored to have had all the love and support and and, and that's where I learned what is needed to 
be successful in recovery. It doesn't matter whether it's a stroke or a heart attack or cancer. I can only speak from experience as far as a stroke and aphasia, you know, um, but we all need to love want everyone through it. So um, today we have on the show a really good friend. Um, well, of course, we have Judy Marlowe and we have Jim. Um, he's the, the owner of uh, Village Connection. Um, they've been dear to me and everyone. I, I just, I can't even begin to start giving names because if I give names, I will forget people. And, uh, but I do remember that, that it's so funny because a long time ago when I was growing up and I used to watch the awards and the first thing they would say is I give praise to God. And I would say, oh, that's so, they're just saying that because they're in front of the camera. Yeah. Well, God had me uh, learn a lesson that it's not because they were just in front of the camera that they actually felt and knew with the challenges that you have to deal with in life. When you're successful, you're not successful and you're any success. You always have challenges you have to deal with. It's how you deal with them that really makes the difference. Are you going to face it? Are you going to deal with it? Are you going to, you know, go in a corner somewhere? And I've gone in the corner. I've gone in the corner, but I've had people gently pull me out of the corner and people guide me. And uh, that's why we all need each other in life. Um, so once again, I want to say thank you to everybody. We have a really dear friend, Jen, on the on the show today, who is working with me to help me to gain my strength back mentally as far as physically and um, and really to kind of utilize my right side more than I have because it's all about the brain, training the retraining the brain, which was what I learned when I went for physical therapy over my knee, that this this recovery center was really very good. The, the gentleman there, I'm sorry, I forgot his name, he really knew how to retrain my knee because my, my right side flops. So like it's all about the brain, it's all about, so this is gonna be a really very interesting interesting show. But I really just wanted to say thank you. Thank you to everybody. And uh, we'll see you in a little bit. Here we go.
Now 